YouTube, what is shaking, homies? Today we are going to rank all the Magic Yo Yo buy metals. We have six different models here, and we are going to just going to do it one through six. I'm going to play with them at random, uh, put them on here, whatever order I put them on here, they'll be my designated ranking. So, this is all personal opinion. Uh, Magic Yo Yo makes awesome buy metals at very affordable prices. So, since these are all quite affordable, I decided why not make a video on all of them? Some of these might not be currently available, not quite sure. Um, but Magic Yo-Yo, they do bring Yo-Yos back and new runs, uh, new runs of old Yo-Yos and stuff. So, um, and you can get most of these on the secondhand market if you can't get them firsthand. So we're going to start off with the Magic Yo-Yo Stealth, just because this one already has a string on it. This was Magic Yo-Yo's first bimetal, probably the one I have the most experience with playing. I absolutely um, love these. This is going to be um, hard for the rest of them to beat, to be honest, because I play with this one so, so much. Um... It's very rim-weighted, very stable, super long spinning. Uh, just overall, a great yo-yo. And for the money, uh, you cannot go wrong with the Magic Yo-Yo Stealth. Uh, good, good at finger spins, thumb grinds, literally anything you throw at it. Kind of the perfect uh, size for me. Exactly what I like. Um, the only downside on the Magic Yo-Yo Stealth is I have broken a couple of them from playing 5A with them and dropping them. And if you bang your, if you're somebody you still like bang your yo-yos on the ground. Um, all by metal yo is you when you hit it on the ground, you have a chance of the ring just coming slightly unaligned, and just the slightest bit will make the yo-yo vibe and stuff. So I recommend by metals in general only for players that are a little more advanced, or if you're a very cautious person, you only play really over grass or carpet and keep um, you don't really use super long string. Yeah, then whatever. But um, this one, we're just gonna put it here because it's the first one, and we'll go from here there. Um, this side will be my favorite, and we'll work our way this way. Okay, um, next one we are going to grab is the Magic Yo-Yo Focus because it's quite similar, so I thought it'd be good to do these back-to-back. -back. Um, it's got a little more cuts in the angles. Uh, it's not quite as, you know, just flowy um, as far as the, the pattern. You know, it's, it's real smooth. Um, there's one slight little cut, but here we get quite a bit of little ridges and edges and edges in it. All right, so we're going to use the same string. I got a zipline uh, Psycho Sunburn, I believe, on here. Okay, now this one came out more recently. Um, I think they're about the same price. This one might be slightly cheaper. This one is definitely a little lighter uh, and faster. So if you're somebody that you like, like really light yo-yos, you're definitely going to like this one. Um, it's also, you know, it's a bimetal yo-yo, so it's very, um, very stable, long spinning still. The Stealth, I would say, is slightly more long spinning because it's slightly heavier. Um, and me personally, I like slightly heavier yo-yos. So these, both these are really, really good choices. Um, the way I see it was if you like lighter ones, you probably will like the Focus a little bit more. If you like, not heavy, but a little bit heavier than this one, you might like this more. I believe this is like probably, I don't know, 67, I'm just guessing. Feels to me like a 67, 66 grams, this is like 64, 65 maybe. I don't know, really close, but I'm actually putting the Stealth straight ahead. Might be because I've played with it more, just feels more natural to me, but um, I do really like it. Um, Lex, we have two different types of Wolfgangs. There is a 7075 and a 6061 one. Um, I like both these a lot, uh, but it's been a while since I played with them, and I thought it'd be a good idea to play with these back to back to kind of get an idea. Okay, so let's start with the OG one, which is the 6061, uh, and then we'll do the 7075. So that's the type of aluminum on the uh, yo-yo. If you don't know, if you're like Dylan, what are these numbers you're talking about? Well, that is just, um... okay, so this one, oh, this bearing's a little messed up, but that's okay. It'll be fine for the video. Um, this one's got more cuts. Um, kind of, it kind of reminds me more of the, the way the cuts are in it and stuff, more of the focus than the stealth. Um, but this one's got a beefier metal ring than both of them. Cool, this bearing is, needs, uh, needs some thin lube, that's for sure. Oh man. Okay, so this bearing is toasted, but um, we're not gonna let that um, have anything to do with the yo-yo because I can still tell how the yo-yo plays and everything with the bad bearing. Uh, it's basically just super loud either too. It's not like coming back at me. Um, the response still feels okay. Okay, now this one is slightly more expensive than the other ones. 
but I must say, uh, you get what you pay for. I think this is right now the new leader. So we're going to move these two down and the original Magic Yo-Yo Wolfgang, I think beats both those. Okay, now I'm going to do the 7075 one. I know it's the same yo-yo, but they are made out of different metals. And I do remember liking one more than the other. Okay, so this one's bearing is uh, much better than the other one. So that's good. We got that going for it. Ooh, I messed that up, but still somehow landed something. Yeah, I mean, these things are so... If I was going to have pick a word to describe it compared to the other bimetals, it would definitely be, like, I mean, elegant. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know. To me, it just feels kind of slightly elegant. That would be both of them. But me personally, it's hard to say. They feel very similar, but I think I like the original one more than this. But the weird thing is, I don't know. I want to say I want to go like that. We're gonna do that, and I can always change these at the end. I think I like the regular Stealth slightly more than the newer Wolfgang, um, but I like this Wolfgang more than both of them. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I've had it longer, so I've played with it more. Um, I don't know. So we're gonna use, this is probably the second Bimetal Magic Air I came out with, the Katana. Uh, I haven't played with one of these in a while, but I remember I do really like that. And then I have a Magic Yo-Yo um, Bi that we're gonna, we're, we're gonna use the same string for all these. I'm gonna take the string off this one. I should have took it off the Wolfgang as well. But yeah, I think we're going to do that right now. Uh, oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to play with, I'm, I'm gonna play with some back-to-back -back maybe at the end and really see, compare which one I like more. Um, let's do... Let's do this one. Okay, so this yo-yo um, is a lot more rounded than all the other yo-yos. Me personally, I'm normally more of an angular yo-yo guy with more of the V-shapes and stuff. But um, this yo-yo, I still really, really like. Um, this one, I really like the second run of this. It's, I have both runs. They're both the same, except the anno on this one is really, or not the anno, the laser engraving is very lightly done. So it doesn't really affect uh, the finger spins. Yeah, I think this yo-yo is really, really nice. Um, this, out of all these yo-yos, is the most floaty, definitely. more. If you're more of a tech player, this you might like something like this more than like the stealth or the focus. Um, that's for sure. Just the shape of it. It's almost like, say, I do a whip trick. Um, it feels like um, the yo-yo's in the air longer to whip it out of the air. Now, I do feel always feel like angular yo-yos, it's easier to hit in the middle of the gap because it's more angular. But these kind of float a little longer, so they give you a little more time, I feel like. Maybe it's all in my head, um, but yeah, I think what we're going to do with this guy is we are going to put it between the Focus and the 7075 Wolfgang. I definitely think I like it more than the Focus. Uh, to me, the Focus is a great yo-yo, but I like the Stealth a little bit more, so it kind of gets lost because they're similar, but I like that one more, so I just always play with that one maybe. Um, now, lastly, we got the Magic Yo-Yo Katana. Once again, this is the most uh, angular shape yo-yo. And I really like how the rings are on here. Um, just overall, very, very cool. I like the size, it's a little smaller diameter. This is the most angular out of all of them. Um, this one hasn't got enough love, it looks like, because uh, the bearing in this thing is also very loud. Whoa, but it's still playing quite well. Uh, my tricks are lacking, but uh, that, don't blame that on the yo-yo, that was me. This one is just like, definitely out of all of them, the most unique, I'd say. Um, I Yeah, this one is, because it is so angular too, it is very fast playing. Whoa. I feel like I'm banging the rust off this thing as I'm playing with it though. I have a really cool like cotton candy color one that I usually use a lot more. This is the original run though, and I do love the, the blue and the gold. Um, I am just messing up left and right with this thing though. So as you can see, I'm a little rusty, kind of like this yo-yo. 
All right, and we made a big, giant knot. Let's see how long it takes me to get out. Come on, Dylan. Do -do 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 -do. Come on. I don't even know what I did. This was a brutal one. Let me know down below what the craziest knot you've ever had. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, so let's get back to playing with them for a second. Sorry about that. Now this one, uh, yeah, it's super angular. The most unique out of all of them, definitely. I think this, honestly, hmm. I remember when this thing came out, I loved it. I played with it so much. Uh, I think this thing just kind of got lost in my collection and uh, definitely I'm gonna be playing with this thing the next couple days. Uh, that being said, it's not my favorite. I th still think I like the regular Wolfgang more, definitely. Oh, hold on, sorry, sorry about my poor yo-yo there, with that one. Okay, so this is gonna be the order I got right now, I think. We're gonna play, play with these two back to back, I think. Okay, let's try the stealth again. Play with the stealth just for a second, and the, the other both game for a second, um, before I finalize my order. But this is my rough, rough estimate. I'm just gonna do the same combo real easy on both yo-yos, something I don't mess up too often. Just the front style, easy front style combo. Mmm, this thing feels so nice. <laughs> yeah, this one, it, it is, I don't know, maybe this is just a really good stealth. And we're gonna leave it there. Guys, play with this. See which one I like better. Whoa, I made a knot on a snap start. What is going on with me today? I don't even know how that happened. Have you guys ever seen that? I snap, it literally, on my snap start. <laughs> okay, so, uh -oh. Ooh, okay, so. Oh, I was supposed to do the same combo, remember? Okay, so this one, you're getting a little bit more speed. This is hard. I think the stealth takes it just from the slight added stability. I, I think I would give it that. Um, Cause yeah, you get a little more speed with the Wolfgang. So for the, that, it's all just opinion. I still think this one is just, I don't know, slightly, I think it's slightly more stable, but it's still nice and fast. So this one's my favorite. Yeah, and I say this is pretty much my order. Number one, Raw, the original Wolfgang, the 60611. Then we got the Katana. Took me a minute to get used to it. But uh, once you get used to it, it's just really fun, very unique. Not a lot of yo-yos like that. Um, the Stealth, uh, you can't go wrong. They're cheap. They're classic. It's been around for a while. Good at 1A, good at 5A. Uh, we got the Wolfgang, the second one, but this one could have been higher on the list. Super, super good. Um, I think I was just spoiled by the first original run a little bit. Um, then we got the Magic Yo-Yo Buy. Really like it. If you like a little more rounded yo-yos, you're really going to be a fan of that. Uh, and then the focus, just like many of these, this could be on your list. It could be at the top. Um, this is probably the cheapest one. So, you know, good take it like that too. You know, the cheapest one, still very, very good. A little faster playing than the stealth, but not quite as stable. So, um, that's kind of your trade off depending on what type of player you are. So this is my, uh, magic yo-yo buy metal lineup. If there's any other yo-yos that I own that you want me to do, like, you know, a lineup of what I like better with them too, uh, let me know. But yeah, this is my tier ranking one through six. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button and I'll see you later.